Hello students, let us continue with our exercise 3.5 as we started in our last class. Let me read the question and let us solve that. I am not going to solve all the questions. Some of them I am going to solve. The rest of the questions are your work to be solved. So, for the third question, which factor are not included in the prime factorization of a composite number? So, in the prime factorization number, the numbers included are 1 and the number itself. Okay, whichever number it is, it has given the O number and the 1 is a number included in the prime factorization. Okay, next question, write the four digit greatest four digit number and express it is in the term of its prime factorization. So, four digit number, this is the four digit number we have it is also the greatest four digit number we know so 9999 let us solve the through prime factorization steps okay so we have to use the prime numbers only to solve this as in the question they have asked so this number is divisible in nine also like nine ones are nine ones are nine ones are nine ones are but we we are not going to use nine because nine is a composite number so i'm going to take three as three is a prime number so three threes are nine three threes are nine three threes are nine three threes are nine okay again take three three ones are three ones are three ones are so we got one thousand one hundred and 11 so i'm going to take 11 as 11 is a prime number we know so 11 ones are 11 so starting take two numbers and third number is one which is smaller to 11 so taking both the number at a time we have to put zero in in the beginning if you take two numbers at a time there is no need of adding zero but after the second number if you are going to take third and fourth number at a time or second and third number at a time you have to add the zero in all the division process okay so here 11 ones are 11 so 101 we cannot divide further as we don't have any prime number to divide 101 we are going to stop here so let us solve the other question The product of three consec consecutive numbers is always divisible by 6. Verify this statement with the help of some examples. So, which we have to take three consecutive numbers like uh, it has to be arranged in the order and the number is divisible by 6 or not. So, the first example I, I have taken 20, 21 and 22. As 20 is divisible by 2, we know. 2 10s are 20 and 21 is divisible by 3, 3 7s are 21. So, we know 2 3s are 6. So, if any number divisible by both the number, so the given number 9240 is divisible by 6. So, we have to multiply 20 into 21 into 22, we get 9240. So, the given number is divisible by 6. For example, 2, 30, 31, 32, I have taken. Again, 30 is divisible by 3 and also 2. And uh, 32 is divisible by 2. 30 is divisible by 3 and 32 is divisible by 2. So, as we know, if any numbers divisible by 2 and 3, then the total is divisible by both 2 and 3 separately. So, if it, the number is divisible by separately 2 and 3, the given number is also divisible by 6. This is the concept, this is the idea be, behind the question. So, I hope you understood this question. So, let us solve the other question. So, students, let me read the next, next question. In which of the following expression prime factorization has been done? So, here is the first question 24 into 2 into 3 into 4 that is 2 3s are 6, 6 4s are 24 we get the total. But here prime factorization are done in which we have to find. As I informed to do the prime factorization number we have to take only the prime numbers. So, here 2 3 are prime numbers but 4 is not a prime number. So, it is not done in prime factorization right. 56 so 7 into 2 into 2 into 2 the 
7 2s are 14, 14 2s are 28, 28 2s are 56. So, 7, 2, 2 or all the numbers are a prime number. So, we it, it has done through prime factorization. So, 56 we can divide or we can make prime factorization process. So, for 70 we have 2 into 5 into 7. So, 2 5s are 10, 10 7s are 70. So, 2, 5, 7 all 3 numbers are prime numbers. So, we can uh, use for prime factorization. So, when we come to 54, 2 into 3 into 9. So, 2, 3 are prime numbers but where 9 is not a prime number. So, here A and D are not a part of prime factorization where B and C are the prime factorization. So, one more question. 18 is divisible by both 2 and 3. It is also divisible by 2, 3 is a 6. So, similarly a number is divisible by both 4 and 6. Can we say that the number must be divisible by 4 and 6? So, if not give it in. So, here 4 into 6. 4 into 6 is 24. So, if a number is divisible by 4 and 6, whether it is divisible by 24, we have to think. So, which is the number divisible by 4 and 6 is? 1 is 24. So, another number is 12. So, the given statement is not possible. So, 12 is a number which is divisible by 4 and 6. 4 3s are 12, 6 2s are 12, but it is not divisible by 24. So, the given statement is not satisfied. So, I hope you understood with this concept. So, please uh, make it a write in your book. If you have any doubt, post it in your group. Thank you so much for watching the video.